Hello everyone, my name is Khatak and today I'm going to show you guys a new survival game. But before we move ahead to the game and talk about it, I would like to say thank you all for subscribing to the channel and supporting in however you can. But I would still ask for those viewers who come to the channel and yet do not subscribe to it. If you still do not feel like subscribing it, just let me know by your comments at least what you didn't like it about it. Or even if you have subscribed it, if you could put a comment, I would really love to know that what you actually liked about the channel and you subscribed to it. By having this letting you guys know, I would request for those who are new to it make sure you subscribe to the channel and show me your presence with that said let's move ahead and talk about the game so the new survival game that i'm referring here is known as road to Vostok. it is a completely individual developer space game which is being created right now i have stumbled across with a youtube channel naming of in the name of the game so found out a couple of videos in reference which you can see in this video. It is uh, basically a hardcore single player survival game. Story is set in post apocalyptic border zone between Finland and Russia where you have to cross actually to a place called Vostok. Okay. The game would offer you tactics based on survival, planning your route across the border zone, how to enter the Vostok and you know giving you all sort of loot opportunities in 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 that way and in terms of survival we are offered with uh, some hardcore survival experiences giving us some realistic uh, weapon mechanics almost you can collect your memories back from like escape from tarkov in a way and can also connect your uh, instincts with the game called days and yes the loot system is going to be pretty much uh, similar like we have seen in days scavenging uh, you would have storages and you would have some items to craft as you would need to find weapons you would need to find tools consumables and some other medical items right in uh, throughout your survival of course and apart from all that things we would also get to see in-game trading system where you can buy sell items to specialized in-game traders using this system you can actually have services like medical care or weapon maintenance right and apart from all this other specialized trading system and this stuff it would include uh environmental events like thunderstorms rains which i believe we have pretty much seen in other survival game modes as well the playable game world is going to be made of individual maps depending upon some specific areas and based on real world locations each of the maps are going to be connected to each other having different type of difficulty ratings also as as per the description of the game details the more we travel towards the east which is towards Vostok the game itself is going to get harder and at the same side the kind of items and loot you can find in in it in the game game is going to get better that's what the game description so far has stated and uh, this is as per the looks of it i can say this is mostly going to be an ai versus a single player mode so far there would be places known as shelters which is basically going to be your safe house or safe zones you can call it where you can store your looted items in the game and the shelters are also going to be different in terms of their sizes and now you would be able to customize it so in terms of customizations as well it is going to be different although once we cross to vostok in case we die we will lose all the access to our saved files including the shelters now this is all what i could fathom so far uh, about the game in terms of uh, description the mechanics how it is going to be so if you really uh, want to know more about this game i would leave the channel's link where i found this game about also some specific uh, reviewers who have view about this game in much better way than me you can check out their videos their uh, channel as well i got fascinated seeing the overall looks of the game so just let me know your opinions how have you felt about this game in terms of general impressions through the looks of it thank you for watching and i hope all of you are doing good take care of yourself keep a good health and thank you for watching this video again